Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ari, and today we're going to have some more stories about our toxic life. But before we start, it would be so much appreciated if you would subscribe to my channel, like the video, if you enjoy it, and maybe leave a comment down below. These simple clicks would mean a lot to the future of this channel and really reward the effort that I put in every day. And now without further ado, let's go. Today's first story. In this story, a decade-long relationship with college sweethearts hit turmoil when reality dashed their dreams. Amidst pandemic challenges, the husband's gift of acting classes for his wife unraveled infidelity. Despite denials, a private detective confirmed suspicions. Taking matters into his own hands, he exposed the affair publicly during a class, leading to divorce. The affair partner faced consequences, while the wife's dreams were derailed. Now let's get into the story. My wife 30 female and I had been together for 10 years, ever since our college days. We were one of those couples who finished each other's sentences and made others gag with envy. We both graduated and got right out into the job field and were kind of crushed by reality. Neither of us ended up being able to work in our dream fields, and we were constantly trying to find ways to be happy outside of work. After the pandemic, things only got harder for us, but thankfully we made it through dark times and we came out stronger in the end. I landed a good job at a new tech startup and things started to change for us. Now here's the thing. My wife had always been secretly dreaming of becoming an actress, so I surprised her with acting classes, thinking it would be a cool way for her to dip her toes in the world of acting. Little did I know that this seemingly harmless decision would unleash a whirlwind of drama in our lives. At first, everything seemed pretty normal. She was all in, attending those classes, staying up late to rehearse scenes, and fully embracing her newfound passion. I was genuinely excited for her, watching her realize one of her dreams. After a few months of classes, things took a turn. The classes usually start in the evening. I'd gotten used to her coming home around 10 or 11, but as time went on she was coming back later and later. She started to distance herself from me emotionally and physically. I noticed she was tilting her phone away from me when she'd look at it, and she'd walk out of the room to take phone calls. All of those are telltale signs of cheating. If something was going on, I wanted to know. I worked up the courage one day to finally sit down and ask her what was going on. I explained all of my concerns and told her that if there was something going on she should tell me so we could find a way to work through it, but she just denied everything. She told me that she was just exhausted from working and taking the classes and that I had nothing to worry about. For a few days after the conversation, I think she took it to heart and she started to act like her old self. You but that quickly went away and the same issues we had resurfaced. I just had this nagging feeling that would not leave me alone and that something was wrong. I couldn't ignore the signs she was displaying, so I thought that if she wasn't going to tell me, I would have to find out. I ended up hiring a private detective to follow her to one of her acting classes to see if they found anything. He kept me updated throughout the night while he was watching her, and for a while it seemed fine. He sent me a message telling me the acting class was over, but my wife was walking across the street to a bar with a man from the class. He kept an eye on them while they were there. Then after about 45 minutes, he told me they were leaving. They were holding hands and cuddling while they were walking down the street. He followed them to a townhouse, and they both went inside. He waited for a while, but the blinds were closed so he couldn't really see anything that was going on inside. That was all the evidence I needed to try to do some digging on my own. I didn't want to invade her privacy, but now I pretty much knew that she was cheating on me so I gave myself the go-ahead. I logged into her Facebook account, that was where she had her acting group chat, and where she did a majority of her messaging. I looked through all the members of her acting class chats, and searched through them all to try to find the man she was with. I found him pretty quickly, and when I looked through their messages it confirmed all of my suspicions. They had been exchanging very flirty, explicit messages, and they had been planning dates together. From the context of the messages, they had slept together many times. I dismissed the PI and made a plan to end the marriage. It wasn't something that I wanted to do. I was heartbroken and completely distraught by the news. I even gave her an out for it. She had plenty of opportunities to tell me the truth and not lie about it. 
It all ends there too. I remembered she told me when she first joined the class. The instructor had her perform a monologue on her first day. So I prepared one. I signed up for the class, shelling out the money for a trial of it, and practiced what I was going to say. I made sure to arrive later than everyone else and sit in the very back of the auditorium while everybody else mingled ahead of me. After a while, the instructor stood on the stage and called me up. Everybody turned to look at me, but I kept my eyes trained on my wife as I walked to the stage. The absolute confusion on her face was priceless. I introduced myself and waved at my wife while the spotlight was shining on me. Then I read my monologue. It wasn't exactly a monologue, Peresi. It was just me reading some highlight quotes from the messages I found between her and the other guy. She stood up and tried to get me to walk off the stage, but I ignored her. I ended the scene by telling her that we would be getting a divorce and that I was no longer paying for her classes. As it turns out, the guy she was cheating on me with happened to be sleeping around with a couple of other girls in the class. There was a complete uproar when I explained what was going on. Everyone was yelling at him and calling him names. I walked out to let that play out on its own, but my wife chased after me. Even with all the evidence that I had just read to her, she tried to tell me that they were rehearsing for a play. She tried to tell me that the text messages were just acting. I was flabbergasted by her poor attempts at lying. Really, I thought the money I'd spent on those classes might have paid off a little bit more. I told her she had a week to get her things out of our house and that she would be getting official papers from me soon. I stayed with a friend while she was moving out. But I did find out through the great find that the man she was cheating on me with was kicked out of the class because of all the chaos he'd caused. We're currently going through our divorce proceedings. It's definitely all panning out in my favor though. The best part about this is that she can't afford acting classes on her own, so she's no longer able to pursue that dream. Today's second story. In this story, Opie discovered his wife had been cheating with two co-workers during the pandemic. Despite attempts to salvage their marriage through therapy, suspicions arose. An anonymous email prompted investigation, revealing the affair. He hired a private investigator, gathered evidence, and pursued divorce. He also exposed the affair to her boss, resulting in her termination. Despite initial challenges, he's finding relief and plans to move on. Now let's get into the story. I 33 male found out that my wife 33 female of 5 years had been cheating on me with two different co-workers. My wife and I had a pretty standard marriage. We had our problems, but we always found ways to work through them. She and I had not been married long before the pandemic, and the constant isolation together brought up a lot of issues in our marriage that we hadn't really noticed before. We heard all over the news that the lockdown had caused a lot of divorces, and we didn't want to add our marriage into those numbers. We went to therapy to try to work through our problems, and we came out stronger on the other side, or so I thought. My wife had always been very career-focused. She would work extra late hours, weekends, she would even go in on some holidays. She was close to making a partner at the law firm she worked at, and we knew that those sacrifices she was making would only pay off in the long run. So, when she wasn't coming home from work until 8 o'clock in the evening, I didn't really think much of it. Because of her job and the confidentiality involved, when she would get phone calls I was used to her stepping away into her office to take them. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary, until I got an email from an anonymous source about my wife. The email suggested that my wife might have been involved with one of her co-workers. I didn't believe it at first. I actually almost wanted to go to her and tell her that somebody was spreading lies about her, but something told me to keep it to myself. I replied back asking for further clarification, but I got none. Honestly, I wondered if it was a disgruntled client trying to tear at the threads of her life. Even though I didn't believe it, the idea of it still played in the back of my mind. It's difficult to admit, but I was a little paranoid about it. One night, shortly after I'd received the email, she texted me telling me that she would be in the office working on a case, and she didn't know when she would be back. Something in my brain tingled connecting that text message to the email that I'd been sent, and I needed to find out if the email was telling the truth. I didn't want my wife to know that I was suspicious of her, so I got some takeout and brought it to her office. Worst case scenario, 
I go in and she is in the middle of some sexual act with her coworker. Best case, I go in and she's knee deep in paperwork and happy I brought her some dinner. When I got there it almost seemed like she must have left already. All the lights were off, there wasn't a soul in sight. I almost turned around and left, but then I heard the moaning. It was coming from down the hall, and I had to know if the email had been true. I walked down and saw my wife in her office, with one of the partners of the law firm, and they were having intimate. Now my wife is an attorney and a great one at that. I knew right away that there was no forgiving her or pretending like this didn't happen, so my only option was to leave. But going up against her, her word versus mine would never work out. I ended up hiring a private investigator to follow her around and gather some evidence. When I hired him, I assumed that I would just be getting some pictures or some videos of her and the partner, and I definitely wasn't expecting to find out she was sleeping with another co-worker. She had been cheating on me with two different co-workers. I had plenty of evidence, so I sought out a divorce attorney. They knew who my wife was right away, she was coming up in the community, and she made quite a name for herself, but they agreed to take the case. While my attorney was getting the paperwork together, I knew I needed to do something to enact my revenge on her. I found her employee manual in her office, scored through it, and found some information that I definitely thought could help. Office romances were strictly forbidden. My wife was good friends with her boss, and there were a few times that he and I would get together to play golf. So I reached out to him and asked if he wanted to go out. He'd agreed, and I met him at the country club. During lunch, I told him everything. I showed him the evidence that I had. He was shocked that my wife would cheat on me with two different co-workers, and he was also appalled that they had so blatantly disregarded the company's rules on company property nonetheless. He told me that all three of them would be facing termination. When I got home, my wife asked me about how golf was. I told her everything and told her that we were going to be getting divorced. About an hour later, when she was begging me to forgive her, her boss called and told her he wanted to speak to her first thing in the morning. She was fired the next day. She swore up and down that I had messed with the wrong person, that she was going to take me for everything I had, and I would regret the day that I screwed her over. Luckily for me, my divorce attorney was very good at her job. Thanks to the evidence that the private eye that I hired was able to gather, I was able to divorce her without sacrificing any of my assets. I'm not going to lie, it's been difficult adjusting to a life without her, but I'm noticing now a lot of the stressors in my life have gone away now that she is no longer in the picture, and I'm looking forward to fully healing from this and getting myself back out there. Today's third story. In this story, Opie reflects on his marriage of 10 years, shattered by his wife's affair with her boss. Initially unaware, he discovers evidence on her phone during a work trip. Deciding on divorce, he plans revenge for Valentine's Day, exposing her infidelity at her workplace, leading to her boss's firing and their divorce. He retains the house, and she moves in with her mother. They share custody of their children. Now let's get into the story. My 38 male and my wife 38 female have been married for 10 years. We've raised two wonderful children together, and we had a happy life up until she threw it all away. We met in our late 20s through a mutual friend who thought we would hit it off. He set us up on a blind date and we instantly connected. I took her back to my apartment that night, and she never left. We were both young professionals focused on our careers and making names for ourselves. I admired her tenacity and ambition, and I knew early on that I wanted to be with her forever. Fast forward 10 years, my wife had been anticipating a huge promotion at work, so she was constantly at the office trying to put in the extra effort for it. The promotion would come with a large bonus that we planned on using to remodel our house and add a room for her mom to come live with us. I didn't think anything of her staying at the office later than normal. In hindsight, I can only wonder what happened all those nights that she didn't leave until 8 p.m. One night she came home and told me about a conference that she was asked to attend in Baltimore. It wasn't an unusual occurrence for her to have to travel for work, so we made the proper arrangements for me to watch over the kids by myself while she was out of town. I kissed her goodbye and told her that I would miss her when she left and she said the same thing. The first night that she was gone, she called me over FaceTime from her hotel room. 
She told me about how exhausted she was and gave me some details about the conference. She looked really stressed out, which I just assumed was because it was so last minute and she might have been unprepared. Looking back, I'm pretty sure it was because she did something with her boss that first night and felt guilty. The next day she texted me in the morning, telling me she would be busy all day and wouldn't have time to check in, but she wanted me to tell the kids that she said good morning and that she loved them. I hadn't heard from her all day, but around 10 p.m. in the evening, I got a text message from a mutual friend. This mutual friend was the one who actually set us up 10 years ago. He was a close friend of mine from college, and he worked with my wife and knew her fairly well as an acquaintance. It had been a few weeks since we last talked, so I happily picked up my phone to see what was new with him. As soon as I opened our conversation, I felt my heart sink to my stomach. He attached an image of my wife sitting at a bar, very close to her boss, with her hands on his chest and looking up at him with a smile. The message just said, I'm not sure what's going on, but I thought you should see this. I didn't know how to respond, so I didn't. I tried to rationalize why she would be in such an intimate position with him, but I couldn't think of any good reasons. I didn't want to jump to conclusions. I needed more information. Right away, I found her laptop and logged in. Her emails were relatively clean. I didn't see any signs of infidelity within them, but they were mostly work-related. I closed her laptop and resolved not to worry about it until I could talk to her. I really didn't want to cause some huge blow-on argument by accusing her of something she didn't do, and I trusted her enough to come clean if she did do anything. She got home Sunday night, exhausted and complaining about having a horrible headache from the busy, loud crowd at the conference. I climbed into bed to go to sleep shortly after she arrived. She left to take a quick shower, leaving her phone behind. I definitely tried to ignore my curiosity, but I couldn't. I quickly scanned through her phone and looked for any signs of her cheating. Specifically, I searched through her messages with her boss. I didn't see anything right away, and I felt relieved. However, before I could put the phone down, I got a push notification from a fantasy football app. For reference, my wife does not care about sports. Her having a fantasy football app was pretty strange, so I had to click on the notification. As it turned out, the app was not about fantasy football. Instead, it was a discreet messaging app with a false notification system. I found all the evidence I was looking for in that app. Her boss had texted her and told her that he enjoyed the time they spent together and couldn't wait to see her again on Tuesday. I quickly searched their other messages and figured out that the conference was the first time they slept together. Apparently, they had been talking and exchanging pictures long before then. I quickly screenshotted some of the pictures they had exchanged and sent them to myself, deleting them from her phone so she didn't even know they were sent. She got out of the shower, and I rolled right over and pretended to fall asleep. I didn't want to talk to her about what I saw. In fact, I wanted to be as far away from her as possible. There was no chance I wanted to be with her again after finding that out. I loved her, but she completely shattered me. My trust in her. Divorce was the only option for me. I also knew that I wanted to get my revenge on her. Historically, I've been terrible at giving gifts for Valentine's Day and our anniversary, things like that. My wife would always tell me that I could do more to show how much I cared about her. Well, I figured I might as well take her advice. Valentine's Day was right around the corner, so I planned to humiliate her in front of her co-workers and expose her boss for what he did. I explained the situation to the company, and they helped me figure out some details. I then sent the evidence of what the boss did to HR, and he instantly got fired. Later on, I showed up to her work carrying a bouquet of yellow roses, which apparently signifies betrayal. Several of my wife's co-workers gathered around while I read the message, assuming it was a declaration of my love. Instead, I served her with divorce papers and read a message telling her I knew about the affair with her boss and that it was over. The look on her face as the envelope was handed to her was priceless. We ended up filing for divorce. I kept the house, and she moved in with her mother. Now we have joint custody of our children.